Okay, hello, this is Martin Chambers. Uh, I play drums in the Pretenders, and later on we're going to be on making a noise on that stage over there. So we did our rehearsing in early January, um, and that's where I kind of got together with uh, Jim Keltner's chops. You know, he's a great player, and he did a great job on the album, and um, I just sort of interpret it. I play it the way I play it, but it's his, his kind of parts, but I know it's just a, it's a really good challenge to have. Well, it's not as difficult as you might think, it's just, it's, it's, more, it's pretty natural actually, because what you do is just listen to what he's done and do that, but you're never going to do it the way he did it exactly, because that's an individual thing, but you just do what he does, and what he does is very good, so it's, as I said, just a great challenge to be able to just tweak it and just make it happen the way that it happens for you. Um, it's that's that's it really because that's that's the point. The reason that Chrissy used Keltner was the fact that uh, she needed to free up everything, so she sacked Adam Seymour, who's a great guitar player and was playing great, but she just needed some fresh blood. And luckily, I knew a guy called uh, James Warburn, who's the new guitar player. He came in. And at that point, we, we did a couple of shows just to see how it worked. And then, I said to Chrissy, I said, if you don't want to use me, don't think you've got to use me. You go and do what you've got to do, and if you don't want to use me, that's cool. Because to me, this is the most important thing, which is getting on the stage and performing the songs. And the making of a record is a, a separate issue completely. So, uh, what's going on on stage now, that's the point. You know, it's live performance. It's become... Luckily, because of the downturn in uh, record companies and one thing and another now, the accent's been put back on where it should be, which is live performance. And that's what we love to do. I wanted Chrissy to make a record and um, uh, be happy with the record she made. And just imagine going into a studio with four people you've never been in the studio with. After 30 odd years, it's got to be great. So it was no big deal for me. And Jim was great because he came into the studio and said, where's Martin? Good old Jim, but uh, no, it's it's working out really good. Um, well, we have talked about, you know, we got a great band here, and it's cemented itself now, having toured for most of this year. Um, we finished in Europe about a, just over a month ago, I guess five weeks ago, and so it's become a great band. So I think it's obvious. Just come up with a few songs and get back in the studio as soon as possible. That would be great. Yes, yeah, so I think we've got. I think we. What we need to do is make a real band record now. Not that the last one wasn't, but it's you know, just give our give us our heads and let you know just play the chords and let's work it out over a matter of an hour and then play the damn thing. It's not really rocket science, you know. I think it'll work real good. I think it'll be comparatively easy. I think a key to do it maybe is finding the right producer, because as you know, the first couple of records, first three records, were done with Chris Thomas. Um, who still does some work now and again, and uh, he, he's a great guy. So we need to find, a, if you like, a modern-day Chris Thomas, for sure. It always helps to have somebody's, somebody else's head in there as well, you know. Um, <laughs> how can I put this tactfully? How to, how to work with Chrissy. She's an immense character. Um, absolutely terrific. I love her to death, but she can be very uh, edgy. And you've got to be able to take the punishment. Um, I've done it for 31 years and worked with her for a long time, so I know how to, uh, how to take it on the chin from her. Because at the end of the day, it really is all about the music. Um, and it's really important, and she, she's great, she's got a great instinctive musical brain. You, I wouldn't call her a great musician, I wouldn't call her a great guitar player. Um, she is a great singer, and she's a great singer-songwriter. Um, but that's the main thing over the years, is learning how to roll with the punches. Because as, it gets pretty dirty, you know. I mean, this is a very tight relationship, and she's not an easy person to please. In fact, it's almost impossible to please her. But it's quite a challenge, and I found James Warburn and Nick, the bass player, is a friend of mine, and uh, Eric Haywood's in the band. But, uh, you know, I've managed to, as I said, roll with the punches and we've ended up with a really great band now. So, I guess the answer, the simple answer to the question is, uh, I've learned how to live with her. No, it's leveled it out a little in, in terms of like, um, the band has a little more weight now. 
and uh, I think that really helps the band for 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 everybody to have their say a little more now because after all it should be a band you know and uh, a band should be a kind of equal opportunity situation because after all I am a drummer of special needs so it's working out really good I just hope we get in the studio sometime next year this is a question of getting a few songs I think Chris has got a few ideas and we'll see how that works well I think it's come back around we've got probably the best lineup we've ever had since the original band um, so I think I think there's a lot of life in this old dog yet nothing I can talk about but I am busy with another band when I get back to England to, to do some shows in London but I can't talk about it you mean there's a life outside the band? Why didn't anybody tell me that? Um, yeah, it's a very difficult lifestyle. It's a very, a very unreal lifestyle. Uh, I've just woken up after about the third one hour sleep I've had since yesterday. Um, and you have to adapt to this lifestyle, which is totally unreal. But you do end up in beautiful places between a rock band over here and a freeway over there and um, you know there are ospreys in the sky and you know it's I, I, I really am at the point now where I do need to get to the countryside I've lived in cities and visit cities all the time and uh, it's good to get a bit of a private life now and again but um, what to sing the lead parts well I have written songs and stuff and but uh, nothing that really worked with this band so you know I, I do sing quite a lot on stage backups and stuff there's a lot of stu little little lines I do behind Chris's vocals I, yeah I love singing and um, who knows one day I might even make a bloody record you never know oh yeah I'm, now I've got hundreds of ideas but it's it's a question of finding the right place for it a lot of it is kind of slightly classical based so it doesn't necessarily mean if I make a record it'll be a rock record I might just do a kind of a movie soundtrack with no movie you know, who knows? But you know, this I've got to, I've got to get out of the city now. I'm, I'm in the process of uh, buying some barns in Herefordshire, convert those, put a big workshop in. I want to do some sculpting and maybe get back to do some painting. There's all sorts of stuff I want to do. But you've got to be in the right situation to be able to achieve any of it. So, um, yeah, I think probably over the next 12 months, we're, 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 I'd like, I'll be very interested in seeing what happens. Hopefully, there'll be a new record in the bag within 12 months. I'll be living somewhere else, and um, the great thing is you never know. It's like it's like the old question: How do you make God laugh? Tell him your plans. Damn, that's true. God, I never really think of stuff like that. I guess we've made our mark, and it's you know we're a, ba a, b a band, a rock band, a good one, uh, and we've always been there for the right reasons. Like I said earlier on, it's about the music, and um, and I, I'm hoping we'll continue to do that for a few more years yet. You know. But it certainly is getting to a point where I need to accent the rest of my life. I think so. It's t you know, it's t I've been giving myself to that woman for 31 years. See you later.